my name is Salvatore Gianrocco Morata, and my project helped me create a choreographic thought process to help strengthen the ideas and messages behind a dance piece by incorporating elements used in graphic design. Dance has always been used to tell stories and as a method of expression, and graphic design is used to communicate a message through posters and flyers, magazines, billboards, and basically anything that's around you. I started to research the elements of design that could be used in dance, and the principles that I came up with are proximity, color, contrast, typography, repetition, hierarchy, emphasis, white space, and balance. Balance refers to how the space is used in the design. It can be symmetrical or asymmetrical, depending on the feeling you are going for. Proximity is used to create relationships between elements used in the design. The closer things are, the stronger the relationship, and the same goes for the opposite. The further away things are from each other shows no relationship or a very weak relationship. Both of these elements would be used to decide on how to space out the dancers on the stage or in the space. Hierarchy is formed when extra weight is given to the most important element or message and design. And then for dance, this can translate into how the spacing is used, but also specifically to emphasize specific parts of a dance or a person in the dance. Color will set the mood for a design because different colors are associated with different emotions and feelings. This element would be used in costuming or set design and lighting. Not the actual dance itself, but elements that are incorporated in a piece. Contrast is used to show the differences between two or more things in a design. Contrast can guide the viewer's attention to key elements because they stand out. It helps organize a design and establish a hierarchy, which I mentioned before. And contrast can also add visual interest. If everything is the same thing, nothing will stand out. But also if everything stands out, then nothing stands out. Repetition is used to connect the design. Repeating certain design elements will bring a clear sense of unity con or consistency in the design. This is exactly the same reason why repetition is used in dance. These elements would be used in the choreography itself. It would be repeated phrases or dancers doing different choreography at the same time. Type refers to how letters move on a page. Fonts have different weights and alignments and movement and are in different categories. Each font shows a distinctive look, which gives its own emotion and feeling to the design like color does. Type is also the choreography, but it is the style of the choreography. You can do a set of steps a certain way, and that set of steps will look different based on the style you are going for in a dance. To test my research, I created and choreographed two pieces. I first thought of an idea or a concept, and then I decided what elements would help me achieve my concept better. While some elements happen naturally while creating a dance, it's important to know which elements you want to focus on. After deciding on the elements, I began to choreograph the dances, and then I taught the choreography to some dancers to see how well it worked out. I then designed a poster using the same elements that I focused on in the dance to see how well it translated in the design space. My first dance was Caged. The dance was originally based on women in the workplace and the phrase breaking the glass ceiling. The song I chose uses a metaphor about a person feeling like a bird trapped in a cage. I further expanded the message of the dance to about being anybody that feels like they're trapped in their circumstances and wanting to break free or be seen as equal. In this dance, I used proximity to show the relationship between the free people and the caged people or the trapped people. 
I also used emphasis and contrast to show the difference between them. I used repetition in the movement to show a sense of feeling trapped or stuck in the same place. The final element I focused on was color. Since the original concept was about women in the workplace, I wanted to put them in a blue men's striped dress shirt. Blue is associated with boys, and I also wanted it to be striped to mimic um, the bars of a cage. The poster uses these elements. There is repetition in the cages and the birds. The color mainly used is blue. And there's an emphasis on the woman in the cage, which contrasts with the empty cages. I can't stand when my wings start to hit the cage. My neck shrinks in its length. My eyes get keener. A cry minimizes in size These claws still clean This cage you've made Can't seem to fit the beast She used to be so cute She was much sweeter Jokes made by being so tame She schemes the sweep What got bigger, the bird or the cage? What gets smarter, the heart or the brain? What gets meaner, your eyes or this leash? What's a sure thing? The breeze What got bigger, the bird or the cage? What gets smarter, the heart or the brain? What gets meaner, your eyes or this leash? What's a sure thing? The breeze Captive While I've been captive Contemplating escape Free from your reign In this cage Trapped I stepped into and snapped Oh, love's inside is why you like to hold things really close i like to give the things i love the most room you like to hold things really close i like to give the things i love the most room You like to hold things really close. I like to give the things I love the most. What got bigger, the bird or the cage? What gets smarter, the heart or the brain? What gets meaner, your eyes or this leash? What's a sure thing? My second dance is titled Flow of the River. The dance was originally based on the movement of water, but as I began to choreograph and continue, I became more about following a path in life. In this dance, I focused on balance. It is both symmetrical and asymmetrical to show how unpredictable water can move and also how unpredictable life can be, but also show how calm it can be. Hierarchy and emphasis were used to guide the viewer's eye. At times, it's clear on who to follow and who to watch. Mm -hmm. I used repetition of the movement to try and create a wave effect to show a very common way that water moves. The final element I focused on was color. The costumes are different shades of blue to represent water because water is associated with the color blue and the different shades show the different paths that people can be on in life. The poster uses these elements. The river is emphasized and is the most important part of the poster. The color that stands out is blue. And there is an asymmetrical balance on both sides of the river. And repetition is used by showing the places on the map. 